Welcome back. Here we are in this vast open area with giant potted plants, a fountain. Why are there giant potted plants? Like they're small potted plants, but giant. If that makes sense. And why has that clock got no hands on it? Like at all. There's several things about this place that make no sense whatsoever. Especially the like vanishing point. There's, there's several things that are really, really off with this. Anyway, we're currently on Kurumi's route. And Chido has just said, Ah, I don't know why, but ah. Today is one fine day. The weather was nice where I stood in front of the Tengu station. This was where we were going to meet up. We were supposed to meet at Pachinko, right? It's it's Pachinko. Is it, it what? It's it's broccoli. That's it. I looked around the area before spotting Kurumi. She seemed cheerful as she looked around herself. Oh, there she is! Hey, Kurumi! Kurumi noticed me and smiled. She waved as I made my way toward her. Sorry, I I I, I thought I was on time. Did I make you wait? I I see. I'm glad. I feel like I've had this interaction before. That's right. I'm on another date with Kurumi today. Um. Oh, nothing. I mean, the thought had crossed my mind. Yes. Huh? <laughs> That's not it. Huh? I chose a normal swimsuit, right? Right? もちろん、冗談ですわ。uh, I thought so. Krumi giggled. Seems like she's been playing with me from the get-go. That's what she does. Gosh, give me a break. Well, I guess I'm not too bothered. Got it. Let's go, Krumi. I took Kurumi's hand. She graciously followed after me, and that made me a little happy. <laughs> Ocean, Park. Ocean Park was a water park that we decided to visit a long time ago. Kurumi and I walked together toward Tengu Station. A completely new area? I got out of the locker room and looked for Kurumi. It seemed like she was changing. Kurumi is not out yet. Anyway, it's time to go over the plan. I've been to Ocean Park before. Today, I'm going to use the experience I have to show Kurumi a good time. Sarah did this with me in Disney. Kurumi usually leads the way. I'm first going to take her hand and bring her to the pool. I'm her boyfriend, so I can at least hold her hand, right? Alright, I'm going to impress her today. Or so I thought. Um, what am I supposed to do in this situation? Get some oil? This? Kurumi handed me a bottle of sunscreen. Yeah, there you go. This means... Um, Kurumi? What do you want me to do with this sunscreen? Really? You need this spelling out to you? Really? Really? What? Well, but touching your skin directly? Yeah. Okay. I... Well, I mean, again, it's Kurumi, so we want to, like, feed into what's going on, so 
Might as well have her undo the top part. I mean, it actually makes sense. This is what I was actually thinking as well. Like, undo the top part, otherwise you're going to be messing around with like the string here, and it's going to be very, very annoying. She's laying down, so it's not like we're going to see anything. It's just it's easier to get around the back area. You know, it just makes more sense. Might as well have her undo the top part. I didn't want to just do everything she asked, so I decided to trouble her a little. Okay, fine, I'll put it on you. That's fine with me, but won't the swimsuit strings be in the way? Exactly. I might as well put it on evenly, right? Then you need to undo the bag. Krumi gave me a bewitching stare, and I came back down to earth. I guess I went too far. No, I don't think you did. Well, Krumi, I was only kidding. What? Makes perfect sense to me. Sensible. Kurumi? <laughs> Kurumi reached back to undo the top of her swimsuit, revealing her pale skin in its entirety. How did, how did the sunscreen already get on her? It's quite strange. Okay. Seeing Kurumi's alluring back. Alluring back? Couldn't help but gulp. Alluring back? <laughs> I can't back down now. I put the sunscreen on her and began to spread it all across her back. Okay. Every time I moved my hands, Kurumi's body jolted and quivered, and she made noises that boiled all the liquid from my head. What? You're making too many noises. It's my fault? Well, yeah, you must be like giving her a massage at the same time, clearly. So, Shido-san-no-te-no-ugoki-ga-totte-mo-kokochi-i-se-desu-wa? See, there, it's very much, yes, you keep everything tied up. What? No, give me a break. I don't think I'll be able to restrain myself. What? I never said that, not a single word. <laughs> Oh, I see. Hey, wait, that's that's wrong. Just the back. Okay. In the end, I put the sunscreen on as she asked. Was it that difficult? We ended up playing at Ocean Park until the evening and went home afterwards. Ah, <sighs> we did a lot today. It was my first time going to the pool with Kurumi. Despite the scun scun screen? Scun screen. sunscreen situation, I feel like I played too hard. I was so tired when we went to take the bus back. Kurumi and I sat next to one another at the bus stop in front of the station, waiting for the bus to arrive. Oh yeah, why don't we schedule our next date? Kurumi, uh, when do you want to go? Kurumi? Kurumi? Krumi had closed her eyes and fallen asleep. Couldn't help but smile because she looked so adorable. Something I rarely got to see. Well, we did move around a lot today. Hmm? What is it, Krumi? Um, She's sleep talking. I decided to watch her sleep until the bus came. She had carelessly left her hand out, so I softly held it in mine.
All right, the living room is clean. I cleaned my room and the bathroom. So all that's left is the entrance area. Am I stressing about it too much? Well, I still have some time before Kurumi comes, so I'll just do it. That day I was cleaning harder than usual since Kurumi was going to hang out at my place. Hmm, guess that does it for the entrance. Oh man, she told me she wanted to visit so suddenly. Kurumi called me last night. Swelly? <laughs> Hello, it's Suka Residence. Rumi, what's the matter? Eh, Tomorrow, not really. I was going to just hang out at home. We're going on a date the day after tomorrow, right? Ara, so then I'll go to go this way. Jitsua, a taxi. Um, so that means you want to come over? No, that's not it. It just came out of nowhere, so I was just surprised. No one's here tomorrow, so feel free to visit. Got it. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Unswelly. And here we are. The entrance is good. It's almost time for her to come. Whoa, hello. I looked at the empty living room and sighed. Kotri is spending the night at Toka's place. They planned it a long time ago. So, we're all alone today. It's not the first time Kurumi's visited out of the blue and seen our living room, but... Coming! I opened the door and Kurumi was standing there the same way she always has. Welcome, Kurumi. Of course. Do enter, my lady. <laughs> Kurumi smiled and passed through the entrance. In her hands was a box of cakes she seemed to have bought as a gift. We're about to be alone in a room together. Actually, being in this situation made my heart pound so fast. This is going to be pretty tough. You free to sit anywhere? <laughs> yeah, sorry it's messy. That's extremely British of him. It's like he's cleaned up his bedroom, completely tidied it, spotless, no dust whatsoever. And the first thing he does is go, oh, sorry for the mess. Th there is no mess. It was just an ordinary room, but Kumi seemed to be very curious about what was inside. Um, I'm going to make some tea? I mean, this is the best date yet. We got tea and cake. That's it. That's all you need. Thanks. Black tea, okay? That's the best kind. With some milk and some sugar, otherwise it's too bitter, of course. Got it, I'll have to boil some water, so hang on a minute. I'll feel free to read any magazines or manga lying around until I get back, but not the ones under the... It is a bed, isn't it? It's not a futon, it's a bed. Yeah, of course, make yourself at home. You fool. I left Kurumi in my room and headed towards the living room. I'm going to make tea and think over my game plan. Where are the tea leaves? Oh, there they are, okay. Ah, so he's not going with tea bags, he's going with some good old fashioned tea leaves. I have a little, little, little box full of Yorkshire gold tea leaves. 
I mean, I have tea bags as well, you know. Just I want to make some tea quickly rather than in a pot. You know, of course, of course. Everyone has both. If you're part of a civilized society, of course. So, what to do? Hmm. Coterie brought a new get bought a new game. I think it has a versus mode. I wonder if Kurumi plays games. That's all Kurumi does. I boiled water and prepared two teacups. I was saving them for a day like this. I'm sure the cup's happy that it can finally be used. No, if a girlfriend visits, you shouldn't just play video games. That feels wrong. Depends on the girl. Well, I guess some people would prefer that. I mean, I know my girlfriend likes playing games. Obviously. Well, I guess I'll be my usual self and talk to her. Oh, I know. It might be nice to plan our next date together. Um, I mean, we are alone. The minute I said that, my train of thought stopped. That's right. Today, Krumi and I are all alone in the house. Triple dot. No, 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 in my room now is... In my room is Kurumi, a very aggressive and audacious girl. For an instant, I imagine Kurumi posing in all sorts of ways. Oh my. No, 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 I can't. I know, I'll discuss the next date with her, yeah. Uh, we'll be wholesome, yeah, innocent. Yep. I do fear what he's going to go back up to. I try to restrain myself by stressing that we just have a wholesome and innocent time together as I brought the tray back to my room. He's going to drop the tea. That's what's going to happen. When I returned to my room, Kurumi seemed to be looking at a magazine. She seemed very serious. I put the tray on the table and called for Kurumi. I was expecting her to be there like in like lingerie or something, sprawled out across the bed, and he'd just be like, uh, drop tea. You know, but nope, all right then. Kurumi, the tea is ready. What magazine are you reading? Oh, the one I found under the bed. Ah, this one, eh? That's quite the title. Ah, that magazine. Wait, what? Shido san, koita situation ga okonomi de stan? No, 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 anything but that. Even you? Kurumi, please don't. I took the magazine from Kurumi and hid it in my arms. How does this book? Zanshiya I mean, that's obviously what was going to happen, so why? Why did he fall for it? Why did you target that area? Of course she was going there first. Besides? That may be true, but... Huh? Kurumi gave a naughty smile. I gulped and continued. Well, um... No, it's not like that. Listen to me, Kurumi. Besides, this book isn't mine. It's Toromachi's. He forced it on me. Well, I'm a wholesome boy, so I couldn't help it, and... Um, I guess there's nothing I can do but hide it under my bed, and, uh... Oh, wait, what? Just tell her the truth, it's your girlfriend, man. What? I mean, there's no way of putting it. It's like, my girlfriend knows what type of stuff I like. Full stop. Or period to people over in America for some reason, like you, you call the full stop at the end of a sentence, period. I don't know why. Well, um, I never liked them or hate them. I was so nervous I didn't know how to answer. 
直におっしゃってくださって構いませんのよ。Kurumi doesn't seem mad. Seeing that I started to calm down. Well, I don't hate it, but. まあ、シドさんそういう性癖ですのね。Hey, wait, it's not a fetish. I blushed and tried to refute her assumptions. Just then, Kurumi looked naughty and slowly sat down on my bed. Kurumi? ここにはシドンさん以外、誰もいらっしゃらないというお話でしたわね。Well, yeah. それならシドンさん、こういうのはいかがですかと ?Shumi then grabbed her skirt. Hey, what are you doing? あら、簡単なことでしたよ。私が再現にご協力して差し上げようかと思いまして。Replicate? The person in the photo and Kurumi in front of me were both doing the same pose. If she does that, I. <laughs> Shido san, Gaman Shinaktemo. Daijobu de Steyo. Kurumi grabbed her skirt once again. I. It's like, it's just like. Please. I mean, again, we've got to play into what Kurumi's doing, I feel. Please? Kurumi's sensual allure and the whole situation finally made me say it. Ara, ara. <laughs> hey, no, I take it back. I was kidding. It was a slip of the tongue. Huh? Stop. Don't, Kurumi. <laughs> Kurumi ignored me and slowly started to lift her skirt. That's an odd pose. Grunt. As Kurumi lifted her skirt, I saw the black tights wrapped around her legs give off a bewitching spark. Okay. I was mesmerized. <laughs> Kurumi still kept her sensual gaze on me. As if she was luring me in. Hora, Shido san. Watakshi no koto wo. Motto mite. Kurumi. My mind tells me not to look, but my eyes. I can't take them off of her. That's how bewitching Kurumi is. Ne, Shido san. Motto. Chikaku de goran ni nara nakte yoroshi in desu koto? Oh no, I, I don't think I can do that. Nara. そこからでも見えるようにしますわ。Hey, wait. ほら、ダメですわよ。もっと、もっとよく見てくださいまし。Gulp. And she finally got to the final Delta Zone. I recalled the daydream I had back in the living room. It's going to happen to me. It's going to happen. <laughs> hmm? A message? Sorry. I apologize, but I felt relieved deep inside. Didn't know what would have happened. Demo, Saki Hodo no Shido san no Manazashi. Steki de Stawa yo. Tot demo sekyok teki de Stakara. Dear, oh dear. Kurumi and I talked a lot afterwards. How good the cake tasted and how the tea got cold while we were doing all these things. And other things. It's sort of like, yeah, I'm one to defend tea quite vehemently, you might say, but this kind of situation, I can understand why the tea went cold. Yes. Anyways, Kurumi, you have free time after school the day after tomorrow. I see. Come to think of it, I have to finish my project. Oh god, it's a project rather than project. She's corrupting me again. Oh, I was wondering if you wanted to watch a movie with me. You said you wanted to go the other day, remember? Well, yeah. And? 
今とっても幸せです。Me too. I hug Kurumi's shoulders tight. We could feel each other's bodies. The heat alone taught me something. So did Shido san wa. No matter how much we talk, it's never enough. It's just so fun to talk to Kurumi. I wish this time would last forever. I really do. Me too. <laughs> What? It's not like that. That was Tona Marchi's. I tried to cover it up, but Krumi hugged me tightly and whispered into my ear. What? <laughs> Kurumi said that much and waved at me bride、uh, and waved at my bride red face before walking off, yes. Oh dear. Well, obviously, that's going to be the perfect place to end this part. So we shall see you in the next part. Or I'm assuming we're going to carry on what just happened. We shall see you then, maybe. Ta da for now.